What's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Back here with the Tamiya M1025 Hummer Restore Project. This is a project vehicle that I've been working on for the last month and a half now. Restoring this thing back to a good running status. Now, in my previous video, I talked about a few issues that I was having with the Hummer. And I want to talk about these issues. First off, was the battery tray. Now, when this kit came out back in 1995, LiPo batteries were not existing. Uh, they had nickel hydride mounted batteries, which are these stick batteries. Now the chassis is designed for this type battery only. So I could not run my LiPo battery, which I want to run LiPo in this because I'm running my RC sound unit and that takes a little more power to run. And a nickel hydride mount battery, not gonna cut the, not gonna cut it, because I'll get maybe like five, ten minutes of run time. So I want to run my LiPo battery, but a lot of my batteries are in hard cases. In square batteries. All right. Uh, I've done this because with me doing the crawling and the drifting and the racing and stuff like that, I want to have my batteries well protected uh, so nothing would happen to them. Of course, anything could happen, but just to have that extra protection. Now, this battery will not fit into the original uh, battery department, so I have to come up with some type of way of actually putting this battery in there, which I did come up with a way. I built a little platform uh, to set the battery on top but I can't use it right yet and I'll tell you why I can't do that. Now the next issue I was having was with the shocks uh, because I noticed the front of the body was getting uh, was drooping down and getting caught up between the the, uh, the shell when I started testing it out. So I was like well what the heck is going on here? Uh, so I thought okay maybe I got bad shocks that's why it's not holding it up and it's drooping down so I replaced the shocks put new ones on and still had the same issue. So I took it off, looked at it again, and I saw that the, uh, the shock mount holder, where actually, if I, I'll try to explain it to you guys as best as I can. So, all right, so here we go. I'll try to do this. Now here's the shock mount holder, as you see. Shocks are right there. Now this actually mounts right on top of, if you can get up, there we go. All right, all right. So this mounts on top of the front differential case here. Now I noticed this when I first got it. Uh, I noticed that it was like this. It was like this right here. And I looked and I was like, okay, there's two screws missing. So I'll just put new screws in there. So I did that. And when I went to test this thing out for the first time to see how it runs, just right here in the house, I didn't take it outside or anything. Um, I guess when I was testing it out, it actually broke loose. And uh, the side screws, I don't know if you can see, I'll try to get in there, uh, probably maybe, maybe not, uh, probably not. But the two screw holes actually just kind of like, I guess, broke apart or something. I guess dry rotted or something, they broke apart. So um, I was like, well shoot, I, I don't really want to order another part for it and spend more money. <laughs> But I, I so uh, I tried to uh, do the cheap method of taking some Gorilla Glue and actually gluing it back and seeing if that was going to fix the issue. But it's not because actually the way it mounts is that it pulls the shock mount forward. That raises the body up. Well, I did the Gorilla Glue, which forced it backwards, which that caused the issue of the binding up. So I had to order a new shock mount. Uh, yeah, sh shop mount, uh, cover case, or whatever, the whole assembly case for the front differential. So I had to order that, so it should be here in the next few days. So once that comes in, I can put that on. Uh, so that was the issue I was having with that. So it wasn't my shocks. I was wrong on that. It wasn't the shocks. It was just the, actually, the mount place uh, just broke apart on me. So yeah. Now, the next thing that I'm replacing on here is the drive shaft. Now, this drive shaft here is like a th really thin little rod. Look at this. Really thin little rod. And uh, as I was testing this thing out, I noticed that it had a bit of a lag when it started going. It didn't have that nice, like, smooth um, going and stopping like uh, all of our RCs today. They're nice and smooth as you take off and uh, that was the problem I was having. It was like jumping around and stuff like that. It was just because this dry shaft is very thin and very flexible. 
And so uh, that was causing an issue. I've done some research on that, and it talk, you know people were talking about how these dry shafts were just so thin that it caused a very sloppy um, acceleration on it. So what I end up doing is purchasing a new one, uh, which I had to order a dry shaft. Uh, from actually China. It's aluminum dry shaft. I couldn't find none in the US. I Believe it or not, I couldn't find it in the US. Probably could if I did a little bit more research, but couldn't find it on eBay and anything like that. And I really don't trust uh, putting my card, uh, putting my credit card or my bank card on a site that I really don't know too much about. I'd rather do like eBay. That way it comes out of uh, PayPal and not get my information hacked or whatever. I mean, any, information get hacked anyway but uh, just knowing that it's you know kind of in a safe thing it's being all right uh, so yeah so I ordered that and of course anything ordered from China it's gonna take a few weeks to get here so hopefully it'll be here I said the estimated delivery time will be uh, between July 28th to August 3rd so hopefully it'll come in very soon I saw the reviews on the person's uh, site and uh, it's a lot of people have fast shipping and stuff like that. So hopefully it'll come in. Uh, so that'll fix that little sloppy go motion there. Uh, so yeah. All right. Um, so yeah. So that's it, guys. See that battery tray right there? Rounded. Can't fit my LiPo battery in there. All right. So uh, that's it, I have to say, on the project here. This is just a little update for you guys. Um, so yeah. So uh, not too much longer, hopefully. Get the parts in there, get the same put together, and uh, get it out there. So for right now, since I'm waiting for the parts to come in, I'll put the uh, the project to the side, and I'll work on some other things. Uh, do some more uh, crawler videos, drifting videos, tanks, and stuff like that. I'll work on those. Doing some more drone videos as well. I absolutely love doing the videos. I've got a few I have not posted up yet. I uh, just haven't got around to it yet, and I will do that. Uh, it's just yeah. All right. So uh, with that, I'll leave y'all be. Uh, if you guys got any questions about anything, uh, maybe you got the Hummer uh, and you have some question about it, or maybe you can help me on maybe what's a, a good upgrade for the Hummer uh, if I'm looking at doing any upgrades. Uh, so definitely comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys later.